What's up guys? That was Magnus. I'm Bill and on this episode of Truck and Roll, I'm going to show you how to make your own cheap custom fuel filter bracket. As a bonus, you're going to get to see exactly what not to do when I drill a 3 8 inch hole directly through my brand new fuel injection fuel lines. So I went ahead and got my fuel system or my fuel lines hooked up, got them all routed and then realized, wait a second, I'm missing my fuel filter. So I took the fuel filter out, figured out how I was gonna mount it. And my first idea was, and I'll show you, was to use a cush clamp. You know, the P-shaped style clamps that go around the outside, they've got some rubber on them and they allow you to, to mount it. So I went to Ace Hardware to see if I could find one. It turns out this size, about two inches, is an oddball size to get. It's bigger than what they carry. I went to AutoZone, they didn't carry it either. Started looking online. Holly will sell you one for about 35 bucks. Summit Racing has a couple different options. But then I got to thinking, what if, what if I used this guy right here? All right, so here's my idea. Clamp 299. This will mount to the frame. Can use this as a template to drill my holes. This will go through place your fuel filter like so and then on the other side these will be captured by the frame the nuts will go on hold it in place however the issue with this is I don't want to have this rubbing directly onto the fuel filter so if you remember when I did the fuel tank I decided to use some rubber cushion with an adhesive back so I think what I'm gonna do is just wrap this around Cut it the right size, obviously. The clamp will go over. Sweet, no trimming required. This is a two and an eighth inch exhaust clamp. This is the Wix fuel filter that comes with the kit, number 33482. You're also gonna need some Earl's fittings or similar hose clamps. And basically, this is what it looks like. Now, obviously, these two right here will go through the frame, and then this will get captured on the other side. This will hold it. Uh, offers a little bit of vibration dampening. I haven't put the adhesive on it yet, but I will here in a second. Make sure obviously when you install it, there is a direction on these. So make sure that you've got it flowing the correct direction and we should be good to go. All right, check it out. All right, let's start off by showing you 100% positively what not to do. Always look where you are drilling. Let's try that again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. On the next episode, we'll wrap up the fuel system under the car, install the EFI under the hood, and start on the HyperSpark. Take it easy.